Hey, what up? I am Bruno Albuz. What about a frozen nougat dessert today? This is the ideal dessert that you can make in advance and keep it frozen until the D-Day. You know, the traditional nougat can actually be made with all kinds of dry fruits and nuts. It's quite amazing. It reminds me one of the most beautiful farmer's market. It's located at a 30 minutes drive from my parents' home, saint antonin nobleval You can find anything you want, from fresh produces to handcraft items. And also these amazing nougat wheels. And one day, I promise you, I'm going to make the traditional nougat. First, you want to soak your raisins in hot water for 30 minutes, then strain it and macerate it with Grand Marnier or Cointreau. Next, I'm going to dice out my dried apricot and chop my almonds and my pistachio. You want to start by making uh, a meringue based on a room temperature egg whites and a few drops of lemon juice just to stabilize the meringue. You can use as well uh, cream of tartar. It's optional, but like everything optional, it's always better with, right? <laughs> egg whites, a tiny bit of sugar, and I'm going to let this run on medium low speed and I'm gonna start cooking my honey. And you want your honey to reach 117 degrees Celsius to 40 Fahrenheit. And fortunately, my thermometer broke. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to cook my honey and let it boil for about five minutes. And that should be fine. The reason behind is that you want a firm texture. If it's not cooked enough, is going to be too soft, like soupy, and that's not what you are looking for. You are pretty much making an Italian meringue. Again, the meringue is the key. If your egg whites are not clean or contains a tiny bit of yolks or your mixing bowl is not cleaned enough, it's got some fat or something into it, it's not, or even flour, a little bit of flour, it's not going to work. Egg whites can be old or fresh, doesn't matter. It can be frozen or half frozen, half fresh, works perfectly. But just follow these recommendations and you should be successful. So room temperature egg whites. And then I'm going to let this run on medium low speed. And I'm gonna start cooking my honey. So by the time your honey is boiling, after five minutes of boiling, you increase the speed of your egg whites and pour my honey. Look at that, so firm. Wow, it's a little messy here. I'm going to transfer this beautiful meringue to a clean container and I'm not gonna clean my bowl. I'm going to right away whip my heavy cream and sour cream. Magnifique. That's all you want. I'm going to incorporate a handful of the meringue first into the whipped cream and mix it up. And then the whole thing into the meringue. So far so good, right? It's not that complicated, right? So it's got the texture of the nougat. In the regular nougat though, there is no whipped cream. It's only egg whites, cooked sugar and cooked honey and dry fruits and nuts. Next. Our beautiful dry fruits and our raisins macerated in Grand Marnier. So you want to mix the whole thing together. Look at that. It's amazing. And then now I'm going to fill up my silicone mold. You can use any mold you want as long as you can unmold it once frozen to pair beautifully with our uh, nougat glacé, frozen nougat. I'm going to make a raspberry coulis. So I am going to use some fresh raspberries, uh, powdered sugar, and a dash of limoncello. 
if you don't have limoncello, use a freshly squeezed lemon juice. Love it. Bazooka. So depending on the acidity of the fruits, you can add more or less sugar. I think it's perfect. Then you want to strain it. Nougat glacé. Frozen nougat done. I hope guys you have enjoyed this frozen nougat episode. To get the full recipe, well, go to brunoskitchen.net. Please subscribe. It's free. And like me on Facebook. And follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Pinterest. Stunning.